My father was ten years old when this happened. He was living in Queen's Road, Mitcham, an area known as Redskin Village or Rocky. And in 1933, the event which he always referred to as just simply the explosion, occurred when the chemical factory blew up next to Belgrave Road. This silent newsreel from Pathé News shows the scenes of destruction. From the Daily Mirror, Thursday, April the 6th, 1933. Mitchum Explosion Theory That a flaw in a bolt caused the Mitchum explosion in which one boy was killed and many houses wrecked was the theory put forward at the inquest yesterday. The inquest was on Thomas Adaway, aged 12, of Belgrave Road, Mitchum, who was killed in his home. George Knowles of Fountain Road, Mitcham, a process engineer employed by Messrs W.J. Bush and Company, said that he was in charge of a still for a distilling methylated spirit. He said, I saw a fog coming along the ground from the still. I went back with a mate to turn the steam off. Fumes were coming from the back of the still. I tried to turn off the steam valve, but could not get at it because of the fumes. My mate also tried, but he failed. My mate ran away and turned the electricity off, and I turned the gas off. We tried to get a hose pipe to cool the pot off, but we had no time before the explosion occurred. I saw a flash back towards the still, but it was too quick for me to see where it had come from. Frank Christopher Catlin, maintenance engineer of the firm of Bush & Company, said that tests that had been made afterwards showed that there had been no stoppage in the tubes that connected with the still. He saw a plate at the back of the steel in the copper where there had been a connection which had been removed. It was an iron plate about seven inches in diameter. It was fastened by bolts, one of which they recovered from the bottom of the steel pot. Mr McNair, the inspector of factories, asked, The breaking of the plate would mean a leak from the steel. Yes, was the reply. The plate would not fit tightly. Catelyn examined the bolt and then said quietly, I, I can see that there is a flaw in it. it. It would be impossible to see it because that part of the bolt is inside the pot. Frederick Horace Priest, works manager, was asked if it was possible that fumes spread to the backs of the houses in Belgrave Road. Quite possible, he answered. You put the whole explosion to the unfortunate breakage of the bolt? Yes. The coroner said it was possible that vapour escaped into the backs of the houses and became ignited. There is no evidence to suggest negligence on the part of anyone. A verdict of accidental death was returned. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked it. Press the like button if you did. I've got a lot more stories to tell about the explosion. My father told me many stories and I recorded them. Once I've got the recordings cleaned up, I'll be making some more videos. So please subscribe and there is many more to come. Bye for now.